welcome back to my channel a very very happy evening to all seeing this video in this video we're going to cover about india will housing finance talk and two days before this rbi meeting on morning we said that intraday target we gave india will housing finance can easily get to 304 to 312 rupees i think so guys but it it has broken that level and gone up to 347 but sadly it closed on 321 the reason because why we told the reason because rba has made certain provisions regarding this load set aside which is very very positive for banks nbfcs and housing finance companies so india will housing finance was one of the company to get benefited a lot the second thing is that the credit rating guys so this very very important credit rating so guys if you are new to this channel then make sure you click the subscribe button below so that you could get our latest updates regarding many shares and also share this video to your friends so that they could also get the view about the share guys and this is about India World Housing Finance so what they said means India World Housing Finance Limited long term credit rating revised with Crisil to Crisil AA stable outlook that is a very very good point but you should read it fully so that we could get a view guys this is reference to the communication of India World Housing Finance Received from the credit rating agency on February 7th, the rating committee of Crisilus has, re has revised the long term ratings of India World Housing Finance to Crisil AA with stable outlook. Certain companies have negative outlook or downwards outlook or upward outlook, and India will have a stable outlook. The short term rating has been reaffirmed to Crisil A, A1 plus. Reaffirm is nothing, guys, but reaffirmed means already issued again confirming that and having the same position that is called reaffirm in revising the rating result cited challenges faced in assessing diverse sources of funding following the situation of non-banks in September 2018 so what has basically happened means what has basically happened this company is trying they are trying to say the funding of this company comes from non-banking fund based funds so guys it is it, it, it is not like a security but they think it can be a risk. So if you ask me how this news could impact the India World Housing Finance share, I think it could impact a neutral way because one side we have a positive news and another side they have a negative news. And next news regarding this company is that the beautiful news which is means India World Housing Finance has paid the interest amount within or before the duty reserve guys and this is their listed uh, interest payment as you can see here the interest payment was on 8th of February and they are paid on 7th of February so why this discussion is very very important as per SEBI LODI regulations a company which has having a interest of penalty payments which has paid or not paid has to be filed this type of instruments or filing in this regulatory NSC and BSC because shareholders want to know how much the company's liquidity position is and how are the creditors in the position so guys it would impact the share price yes guys it will definitely impact the share price because it is a very very positive news regarding India Housing Finance because they have paid this interest payment before the due date and if you ask me sir can I buy now that like if you ask me the answer to you guys is the share price is now at 321 rupees but we said that we can see a target of 320 rupees it broke away your target this means a bullish breakout can be seen in, in this share but for a bullish breakout to continue it has to rise eventually but it has formed a base formation and we are expecting a light of 5 to, 5 to 10 rupees down and also you should note guys and also you should note they are having case in the Delhi High Court and it is already going and Delhi elections is also coming so put these facts on together put this one all together i think maybe from 11 to 13 the share may go down i think that would be the better buying opportunity so if the results are very very positive i mean the election results are very very positive and also this high court sentence is very very positive then we may see india will housing finance in the target of 400 definitely guys and this is about india will housing finance so guys if you have any doubts regarding many shares leave in comments below so that we could be able to post a video about that it could also help us and help you a lot and more of them guys see you in the video very soon